Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the YouTube channel. Back for the next episode of Review Miss today. Talking about Last Christmas, the 2019 film featuring Amelia Clark. Subscribe and, and like as always. Spoilers ahead. Go check it out for yourself. It's on BBC iPlay, weirdly enough. You know. And enjoy. So, Last Christmas is actually a film. It's one of those films where I think you can only ever watch it properly once. You could watch it again and again for the uh, emotional and the brilliance of it. Um, but the big twist that's revealed at the end, it's like, holy shit, did that just happen? Because you're going through this thing, you know, Amelia Clark's character, you know, she's a bit of a mess at the start. She takes on this job, dresses an elf in her shop. Uh, she has a boss. She goes to the homeless shelter a lot. You know, she meets this guy, handsome fellow, who helps her sort of get through life, get herself organized and look forward to things. She helps a few characters out. She messes a few things up. She messes things up with her sister. And ultimately, you're driven on this road to see this character become a better person, better individual each day. You know, she makes mistakes. She gets in trouble, you know. But ultimately, the biggest thing about this film is is this connection between this guy she met. Who is he? Why does she have this big spark to him? Is it because he's a handsome fellow? Is it because he's nice? And ultimately, you're driven towards this false thing of they're going to live happily ever after when you realize she has this scar on her chest, they connect over it. That's the last time they saw each other. And then the next time she goes to his place, you know, he's not there. There's this person who's selling the house, the tenant. Um, and he's like, basically, that person doesn't exist anymore. Hasn't existed for a while. He was killed in a car, um, a, a bus accident, lorry accident on his bike. And he obviously opted in to, because he has one of those donor cards, to give his heart to Amelia, who was having heart issues which I think was shown at the start of the film. It showed her in the hospital, and then people probably put two and two together when they saw this guy, but no one else was really... All the reactions that were through the film was very much aimed at her and never really seen this guy. Uh, even he, even if he, if he was protective or walking the streets or having a conversation with because then when he, she finds that out, she sort of strokes out, not, not passes out, but she, she starts to see things and remember things and realise, oh, she's been hallucinating the entire film. And it's that moment where you go, that's why you can only watch it once properly, in my opinion. And it's that moment where you go, holy shit, the bit where she was getting her clothes off in the street and the guys were harassing her because he wasn't there. You know, on the bus, the walks, where she was eating chips on the front. All those scenes where she thought she was with someone and being in comfort with someone. In that moment, she thought she was happy. But in reality, they're just simply connected because his heart is inside hers. <clears throat> Her memories, her mind, her life, and their hearts are connected and intertwined through his heart being in her body. I thought it was a beautiful message, an amazing story, well pasted. I love the whole homeless story as well. You know how they, you know, she started singing by herself. They all got involved with the whole Christmas thing. They put on a show and she sang Last Christmas at the end. And I thought it was a very, very good uh, film with her boss being there, you know, making up with her sister. There was a lot to love about this film. Their relationship was one of the stronger points, and it was just very heartbreaking for her to realize this entire time she'd been hallucinating, seeing things, and ultimately being a bit alone this entire time, but comforted by her imagination <clears throat> and realizing even with him gone, she's still got all the people at the homeless shelter, the people in her life, like her sister, her boss, and her family. So it's a great life lesson. It's a great lesson for her in the sense of she's gained more than she's lost. So a brilliant, brilliant film. Um, and it was great to go back and check it out and just see it for the um, second viewing. Amelia Clark is a fine actress. Um, I think his name is... I can't remember what his name is. He was in Snake Eyes, the um, the G.I. Joe sequel or prequel or spin-off. Recently, he was in um. He's been in quite a lot, basically. I think he's a great actor. I think the story wise, great directing, writing. It was all really good, to be honest. A fantastic film, nevertheless. I'm gonna give um. You know, 
because it wasn't even cliche, it wasn't obvious, it was never one of those films you knew where it was going, but because it had lacks watch of rewatchability because of the reveal at the end, I think it's worthy of a 9 out of 10. So Last Christmas gets a 9 out of 10. You guys let me down below in the comments. And it goes to show how diverse of an actress Amelia Clark is. You see her in this, you see her in um, You Again, is it You Again, um, where she looks after the... Um, a guy from Hunger Games who obviously wants to be euthanized, uh, and obviously Game of Thrones, where she plays Khaleesi, um, Dan Daenerys Targaryen. So, yeah, she's a fantastic actress, nevertheless. And I hope you guys check it out this Christmas period. Thanks for watching, as always. Hit that subscribe button and leave a like if you enjoyed the video. And obviously, suggest any more Christmas films you'd like to see on the channel. And obviously, go check out all the previous episodes from this year and last year. And goodbye.